who's also a writer and director in his own right, he was, he was just a huge collaborator um, with me in terms of refining the script over time, um, you know, workshopping the project, and just really, um, really pushing me to kind of find that, that jazz tone. And then, of course, in terms of preparation, he, he had to do a lot of prep with, um, with the singing and with trumpet lessons. He, he, he took trumpet lessons for about six months um, to, to prepare for this. So it was a real kind of passion project for him as well as I, and I think it's something that he's, you know, he's been quite involved with right through the edit, even right all through the editing, I was talking to him weekly and he was very involved. And so he's just that type of uh, filmmaker uh, as an actor, which, which is a real treat for me as a director to have somebody like that on the team. We, um, we just closed our U.S. Uh, distribution deal with IFC Films a couple days ago. I'm um, really excited about that. Um, and so um, we're going to be you know, talking to IFC uh, a lot in the, in the coming weeks to find out exactly what our game plan is going to be. Um, but they're, they're going to be the ones releasing it. And they obviously have had a good track record with Ethan having done Boyhood. And they also did... <coughs> Or their sister company, Sundance Selects, I guess, did a Seymour an introduction. I don't know if anyone's seen that, but it's Ethan's wonderful music documentary. Um, and so they've got a very close relationship with Ethan, and we're, we're all just really excited uh, for that release, which we expect to be in 2.16 at some point. We just don't know exactly when yet. Yeah. 